everyone, John Connolly, president of the Twin Cities North Chamber of Commerce. And this is Chamber Check-In, your source for virtual networking, great local solutions, and content. Hey, we're glad you joined us today on Chamber Check-In. A shout out to Nine North that does produce Chamber Check-In. We appreciate their partnership. And for all things Chamber related and event related and what's going on in the business community, go to TwinCitiesNorth.org. That's TwinCitiesNorth.org. Org. And there you'll find all sorts of ways to connect with local businesses here in our community, like uh, First Bank and Trust that we have uh, as a guest on Chamber Check-In. Speaking of, I'm going to bring out Sharon Reichenbach from First Bank and Trust here in Roseville. Sharon, welcome to Chamber Check-In. First of all, uh, tell us about First Bank. Well, First Bank and Trust is a full-service community bank. It is actually based out of Brookings, South Dakota. But the bank has always had ties to Minnesota. Many of you might recall People's Bank of Commerce. In 2017, First Bank and Trust was merged with um, People's Bank of Commerce. And so we have been around in this community for a number of years, but only at First Bank and Trust since 2017. Uh, the bank's origins actually go back to 1880 with Horace Fishback, who sold property in Rochester, Minnesota to the Mayo Brothers and moved out to Brookings, South Dakota. That bank um, that he started in 1925 is approaching its 100 year anniversary. And now we have uh, 22 branches and of those seven are in Minnesota. Nice. And yep, it's continued to grow and the Fishback family is still involved in the bank and they serve in leadership positions in, within the bank and also in the community, so very yeah, well. Yeah, and, and whereabouts in Roseville are you located there, uh, Sharon? We are located on the Frontage Road of Highway 36, and we're next door to the new recently opened uh, Centro, and it's kind of that area with a lot of the food that we share our building um, with Sylvan Learning and the Reserve. Right, and uh, speaking of, the, uh, the Twin Cities North Chamber of Commerce, everyone offices out of the reserve. So, you know, if you do business right there, stop in by if you're a chamber member and say hi at our office there right next door. So just a little yep. uh, shout out there. Hey, um, what are the unique things uh, that about First Bank that you want to share with us? What, are, what makes it unique? Well, we have real people in our branches. Some people walk in and say, is this a real bank? Because there are people here and you can talk to them. And we have real people that answer our phones. We offer a full range of competitive products and services, whether it be business or consumer. And they're the same products and services that you can get with the larger banks, but we are a community bank. We offer a trust department. Uh, we have wealth management full product suite for the mortgage department, private banking, the full business suite of products, and we are a preferred SBA lender. And our SBA lenders are extremely knowledgeable and successful. Um, anybody that's a business owner or an accountant that works with a business may be interested that they could benefit from an SBA loan, and they certainly should contact us. And we offer local decision-making, which is really nice because we can expedite transactions that our customers have. And we can also provide 401ks to businesses. Nice. We also have, we also have digital banking that is really great. And there's the kind that's on your computer, but there's also on your phone, the mobile banking. And we have tools that rival those of larger banks and we're always looking to enhance that our products and services and we just recently rolled out a new credit card manager and card manager tools that allow our customers the ease and the ability to monitor their own accounts in real time so they can access their bill pays their credit cards um, and even manage their own debit cards God, sounds like an array of services here, uh, you know, and uh, up to speed. Speaking of, uh, you know, some of the things that make you unique, uh, what are we seeing overall trends in the business banking uh, world, uh, Sharon? Share with us those things. Well, I think the two trends that are happening that we're dealing with on a daily basis, um, interest rates, 
what's going on with those that's in the media all the time. Just recently, the Federal Reserve cut the deposit rate, and that caused a drop, consequential with the Wall Street Journal Prime, to fall from 85 to 8%. Financial institutions are all competitive, looking for customers' deposits. A lot of deposits have moved from banking deposits into non-FDIC, higher risk products for people that are looking to get the rates. We actually have three promotional CDs, um, some as high as 4.75% right now, and we have a really popular 12-month liquid CD that allows customers to have access to their funds throughout the 12-month term without a penalty. And our CDs, a lot of CDs are not open to businesses, but our CDs are all available to businesses as well. The other trend is scams. And there's just a lot of fraud happening out there right now, and businesses and consumers alike um, are finding this. The scams are becoming more aggressive and trickier in their attempts to fraudulently take money from our customers as well as their identities. Um, we've all heard about the multiple data breaches that have been out there, and that has put personal information and business information that is non-public out on the Internet, and it's being sold for nefarious purposes on the dark web. So we provide our customers, especially our business customers, with uh, monthly email updates informing them of the current scams to help them prevent falling prey. I also tell people, make sure you pay attention in the news because a lot of the scams are being announced because it is so prevalent, it is announced um, on, a, on a daily basis. One of the quickest ways for anybody to know that they're being scammed is when they ask you to purchase debit cards or gift cards. Um, and if they instruct you to not let your banker or bank know what you're doing because they know that we're out there to protect our customers and we don't. Um, we can stop and have stopped customers in the midst of a scam where people have had control of their computers and we have been able to um, save them loss of funds by being involved. So always contact your bank right away. And some of the scams that we have had that um, are out there, the romance scams um, where your child is or grandchild is supposedly in jail and needing money for bail. Uh, there's been some text scams. And we have seen customers of late being blackmailed and fear tactics being used where they're being told you have to take quick action. And it's that quick action that people are making mistakes and giving access to their accounts or their information. Recently, we've discovered a new scam, and it's a trend in external transfers in which customers become victim to compromised digital banking and what they do is they comp get that compromised and they add those external accounts and transfer funds out of the customer's account. So those wow. are, those are wow. probably the biggest trends that we spend a lot of our time trying to protect our customers. Absolutely. Wow. Great advice, Sharon, uh, from First Bank and Trust. Thanks so much for sharing all those uh, unique strategies to help uh, help us in the banking world here in this day and age. Hey, we have about 30 seconds left, Sharon. Tell us your last thoughts you'd like to share with everyone. Well, we are open, ready to do business. We'd love to have you stop in and visit us. Um, we have been recognized in our community with our involvement for everything that we do in our FBA team. We are having our customer appreciation on the 21st of October through the 25th that whole week, and people can stop in and get some free Sebastian Joe's ice cream. Ooh, that sounds yummy. I'll, I'll be by, okay? Sharon, thanks so much for joining Thank us you. on Chamber check -in. So that's the 21st through the 25th, everyone, over at First Bank and Trust. And now, the vision of the Twin Cities North Chamber of Commerce is to promote business, develop leaders, and connect communities, and we're so glad you connected with us today. A shout-out to Nine North that produces Chamber Check-In. We appreciate their partnership. And for all local business resources and events, go to TwinCitiesNorth.org. That's TwinCitiesNorth.org. And there you'll find all sorts of resources and ways to connect with local businesses here in our footprint. Everyone have a wonderful weekend.